All right, take a listen to this. Oh, I finally find my mojo, and now you want me to lose it. Little taste of a track called Into the Woods from the concept record accompanying the release of a new film called Year of the Carnivore. It's the first feature length film for a director and screenwriter, Sukhyun Lee, who combines her role as host of CBC Radio's Definitely Not the Opera with other artistic endeavors. The voice you hear at the beginning of that song is that of the character Sammy Smalls, the film's diminutive protagonist. She's out to find her mojo after an unrequited crush tells her that she's not sexually experienced enough for him. In her quest to become a better lover, she lands in the sack with neighbors, seeks advice from a sparky septuagenarian, and blackmails shoplifters into giving her sex lessons in the woods behind the supermarket where she works. Sukian Lee, director, screenwriter, all-round artistic human, joins me now in Studio Q. Hello. J-A-J-I-I-A-N. J-I-I-A-N. Very exciting to have you here. Nice to be here. Congrats on this. Thanks. Your first movie. I You're know. birthing your first oh, film ow, as a director. Oh, I can feel the pain. I woke up with a pain in my side this morning. <laughs> the, the Year of the Carnivore has been dubbed a romantic comedy. It certainly doesn't follow the typical blueprint. What What made you want to write a character like Sammy Smalls? Well, I drew upon my own life, and uh, you know, the I have a fond memory of first love. And similar to Sammy, I was crazy for a fella. I was extremely shy, very socially inept. And so I ended up pounding back very many beer at the Savoy nightclub in Vancouver, fell down two flights of stairs, made my way over to his place, broke into his place, stood over his bed as he lay sleeping, woke him up, confessed my love, and proceeded to vomit all over him. Which Sammy tends to do with Yeah, but she makes it into the toilet. Thank (laughs) goodness for that. Right, right. So it's that sort of really... Difficult trials and tribulations of first love, like my. And did he tell you that you weren't sexually experienced enough? I wasn't. It was sloppy. It was not happening, and he was terrified of love, and so the both of us went out into the world and sort of ran the gauntlet. I mean, Sukin, to start with the obvious question, exploring sexuality is a theme that seems to recur in your work. What makes you return to it? I find that um, sexuality is more of a metaphor for all kinds of very interesting dramas that take place between humans. It's less about the physicality of it, although the physicality is interesting in itself, but it's a struggle to love. And so I feel that uh, the obstructions that get in the way of love is where the drama takes place. The bedroom is often the boxing arena, and there's it's tender and it's scary, and we have a tendency to you know, challenge one another and trigger one another in ways that are not particularly loving. And yet everybody wants that, you know, feeling of belonging. And so it's more of that story of, you know, finding identity, finding a place to belong, and the ways in which we sabotage. Sex can be an obstruction. Is that what you're saying? Well, the way that we engage with one another, mm. um, it's it's terrifying to be intimate. I feel like, you know, as animals, and we are animals, there's a kind of dual conflict that goes on. We want belonging, we want love, and yet we're, you know, afraid of one another. It, it might be terrifying to be intimate, but you've been particularly candid uh, about your intimacy your um, and issues <laughs> uh, ab- about sexuality yeah. both both in your films and your work but uh, even on the radio with uh, with DNTO tell me about that decision to out yourself in the way you have I don't know what what it is it's like I'm compelled to like I'm constantly trying to work through things in my life and they always those questions always arise in in my work and I figure if I'm going through, like, people are pretty similar, and I have really appreciated when other people share things with me, and I've learned through other people's stories, and I can't help but sort of wrestle with those things and share and Mm. kind of go, what the heck is happening here, and then try to facilitate some sort of conversation. I think that's important, and I don't know what it is. Maybe it was being raised Roman Catholic and Chinese, double whammy, but there's a kind of confessional thing. Psychology 101. <laughs> yeah. Q Rebel. Uh-oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I wish I was one of those writers that could suddenly access my imagination and, you know, write a tale that takes place 200 years ago on a far 
faraway land, but I, I don't have that kind of imagination. I really do have to s write and, and s express from that which I know or that which is confusing to me. Let me try this out on you. You'd be well-placed to answer this question. There seems to be something about uh, female characters who seek sexual experiences without guilt that makes audiences uncomfortable. Would yeah. you agree with that? Well, I think it's uh, sex just does make people uncomfortable. There's a lot of projection. But There's does it break down on gender lines when it's a woman seeking it rather than a man? I think it's an unusual tale. You know, um, I think as women, we're, I mean, I realize that we're not, and men, actually, I feel so uh, resistant to divide the genders because I feel that we're all saddled with some really heavy pressures in the world to, you know, to, str a lot of us strive towards these sort of mythical, unattainable um, levels of perfection, mm. uh, whether it's good, being good in the sack or what have you. Yesterday I did a, an interview with a sex website, and, and they thought, oh, Sukin must be like totally an expert at sex. I'm like, no, <laughs> Sue Johansson runs circles around me. I am still as confused as ever. Right. And he's like, well, Sammy's the protagonist. She wants to go get good at sex. What makes good sex? Mm. And that, I was like, no, 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 you missed the point. That's her fatal flaw, to think you've got to strive to be good. We always make mistakes. You just have to accept your mistakes. Mm -hmm. like, that why sounds like you do have a, a, an important perspective to I share. I do. Yeah. And I think if you're asking about gender lines, I think what it is is oftentimes women, and I know men too, but I also say women because I know what that's like, we very rarely open the dialogue to ask ourselves what makes us happy. What do you want? We're always, you know, like Sammy. Oh my gosh, Eugene. He he doesn't love me. What can I make? Mm. What can I do to make him love me? What? How can I change myself to fit what he loves? Guys do that as well. I know they yeah, do. Yeah. Uh, Eugene is terrified of love because he's seen his parents behave in less than loving ways toward one another. Hey, so if it, if these issues are, are so important to you, uh, important to you, tell me about the decision to. I've only got a minute left with you. The decision wow, to. Wow, that was fast. I know, I know. Holy it smokes. zips by. It yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. I, the, I like your place. It's I, so nice and moody in here. With I got the red like light. twenty questions here. Okay. For you. Yeah. Go fast. But I'm I'm not even going to use any of these. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm freestyling, man. That is great. Uh, uh, the why why a romantic why this device? It's a very entertaining film. But why a romantic comedy? Why not do something really harsh and like oh god, angst ridden or. Oh. Educational, no. do a documentary, you know? Well, I feel this is educational. Um, fictional stories are educational. I certainly was reared on a diet of, of, of movies when I was growing up. Um, but I, I don't know. Um, I tend to, humor has helped save my butt. It's gotten me through mm -hmm. tragedies galore. And it's great when you can actually laugh about something. I see this and I reminisce about this as a love story. It's a learning to love story, but it is a love story nonetheless. And it's a different kind of love story that we usually see in the theaters. So that made sense that it was a romance, um, albeit an inverted one. Um, and the comedy helps the medicine go down. There's a lot of levels of um, sort of deeper existential questions that I pose but I think the comedy helps things go down and I do want to make things that are not only useful but entertaining so congrats on this hey, I mean you're such you. a you're such an amazing artist from Bob's your uncle to much music to CBC to the films you're making uh, to the work you're doing you know I'm a fan and and congrats on on now your first direct your director directorial debut yeah